Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 57, Multiple Criteria Select. This is an answer to a question sent to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com from Andreas. Andreas wants to know how he can pull in data from a source matrix into, say, another analysis matrix without having to link the item categories. You can see here that in the source matrix, I have these uh, fuel types of gas, propane, oil, and total. That is exactly what I have in the other analysis matrix. But for whatever reason, uh, Andreas doesn't want to link these categories. Uh, we have the same year and the same quarters for both these matrices. But again, he doesn't want to link these uh, timelines. So what can you do? Basic using as won't get us where we need to get us. Uh, basic select statement. There's a little bit more criteria uh, than just one criteria because I'm, I'm going to be looking at fuel type as well as the quarter, as well as the fiscal year. So what do you need to do? Well, you can solve this by using a multiple select uh, statement, multiple select criteria, if you will. And how I do that is I go ahead and in my source or my lookup matrix, I go ahead and I create a helper cell and I call this helper lookup. And helper lookup goes ahead and it gives me kind of a unique value for each one of the values. So a unique lookup value for this source would be the at item. And I always like to separate anything in a helper with the pipe character or the bar character just to kind of help me keep things a little clean and keep things segregated. Uh, I mean, I think you could mash it all together, but I just, again, I like the pipe. And then I'm going to say at year. And then I'm going to put another pipe separator, and I'm going to do at quarter and at quarter. Okay, so what that does is that goes ahead and gives me a unique uh, lookup helper for each one of these amounts in this source matrix. Then down below, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say that amount is equal to select the amount. That is what I want to bring back. And what is my key list? It is actually the helper lookup. And then my lookup value is going to be a key list that I create just right here in the formula. And that is going to be the at fuel types. Uh, with the pipe character and at year. Again, separate it and at quarter. Once I do that, you can see that I am able to bring in the data in the source matrix based off of this multiple criteria when I don't want to have the categories necessary linked. So Andreas, I hope that answers your question. Hope that gives you a better understanding on how to use a helper lookup cells for multiple criteria selects or lookups. If you have additional questions about Quantrix Modeler, feel free to reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. Absolutely love Quantrix. Want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.